Hello everybody, and in today's video, I'll be testing out Secure A+. So, um, so far I do like the user interface, but I find it kind of complex, even for me, even though I'm an advanced user. I still do find this kind of complex. So we got our scan settings, um, we have the universal AV, so all of our engines we can check. Uh, for some reason they have crappy engines like Total Defense, some like Quick Heal, Microsoft Security Essentials, McAfee is okay, it's not too good, not too bad. Um, Clam Win is kind of terrible, and then this AHN Lab, I already know that's terrible. So some of these are terrible, but they have all these, so I'm guessing we'll do good. Um, I did enable the offline antivirus, well I guess it's just Clam AV. But, um, I didn't, I did in fact enable it. We have our exclusions, we have our inclusions, included file types, and here's our excluded files or folders, application whitelisting, and, um, this is like, um, an actu actually, um, this is an application whitelisting program. So, basically what that means, it tries to learn from your system and see what you use, and whatever you use is going to whitelist that program. And if, it won't do it for malware, because that would just be weird. But, it would, like, basically, if I open up something, I don't know, I'm not going to open anything. Basically, if I opened up something unknown, it would basically block it. But, it, it, you can add it to here. Um, so, yeah. And then we have the advanced settings. Observation mode allows untrusted applications to run. I don't know why that would ever be an option. We have void listing here. Um, restricted applications. Certificates. And script. We have um, all this crap, and then we have all this, let's just check for updates, and updates here. Okay guys, I'm back, the program is finally updated after like 5-10 minutes. Um, as you can see, software is up to date, a software updater, and signatures. For some reason it said that it couldn't get the update, but then it said it was successful, which is kind of... Kind of concerning, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't have enough courage to do another one, seeing how long that took. But anyway, um, we're finished. Uh, I guess I just did an update, I'm not doing it again. And we have all that, all those settings, so to be honest, it isn't, isn't really, um, isn't really complex. I thought it would be more complex. But, anyway, we can just close this out. We got... 15 malicious URLs, just because, um, VirusSign, of course, just like usual, is not freaking updating, it's just retarded. And I'm setting this to slow, because I seriously want my CPU to be as low as possible. And speaking of CPU, let's check out how much Security Plus is using. It appears that, um, this is part of Security Plus, so it's using Clam AV, which is quite heavy. It's using a, oh, just, the CPU just dropped. But the memory is really high. It's using about 400, um, 400 meg. That's very high. That is extremely, extremely high. But, a lot of, again, today, that's not too bad, because a lot of people have more than one gig of memory. I mean, I only gave this virtual machine two. Just because it would prob probably be impossible to do it without two, especially a with antiviruses. Without, I can deal with one. But anyway, um, it appears that it's using... Just ignore this one, I'll just count that as something crazy. Okay, it appears that it's using about um, 89,000 meg. Not meg, 89,000 kilobytes or 89 meg. So that part, not too bad, definitely quite light. But this Clam AV part... It's definitely taking up a lot of memory. If we go to processes, we can see that our memory is m about 50. And I'm not even doing anything. I'm just, like, at the desktop. So, um, it's kind of concerning. Not a huge deal, though. Considering a lot of computers nowadays have, have more memory than just 2, 1. Again, not too concerning. But if it was taking up, like, CPUs like it was back there, that would have been concerning. Okay, we got all the links up, and everything's good to go. And by the way, someone told me to test out Norton. Don't think I'm ignoring you. Don't think I'm going to delay that test forever. No, I might delay it for a bit. But seeing how um, Virusign isn't updating, I don't have an excuse to say that I can't use samples. Because they do take a lot. It does take a long time to scan on my system, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just do links for that one. I'll do it quickly sometime. 
But for now, I'm just going to test out this because um, I've been requested to do a f uh, quite a few um, antiviruses so far. Okay, let's run this one. Uh, it appears that this one is an untrusted file. 32 out of 56 on virus total. No, don't go to virus total. Click the drop down. Okay, as you can see, a lot of things detected. So let's just click on delete or quarantine, as it likes to say, but whatever. So this one was blocked. Maybe if I get go back. Next link. Okay, let's run this one. Okay, this one's untrusted. Let's just um, continue blocking because it says it's untrusted and the detection on virus total was really high. So, let's just count this one as blocked. Let's go to the next link. Okay, it's a bin file, so we're going to have to save this as an exe. Okay, let's open this file. There we go, it's an untrusted file. Let's continue blocking. This one was blocked. Let's run this one. Okay, that's going to take a little bit, so I'll just skip this one for now. So run this one. Okay, this one it's signed, but it says untrusted. So, but the detection is nine out of fifty-six on virus total. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on quarantine. There we go. Now finally this file is done downloading, so let's click on run and again like usual it has been blocked so let's continue blocking let's run this one like usual untrusted file let's continue blocking it Let's run this one. Again, untrusted. Let's continue blocking. Um, so I'm guessing it's gonna do really good, just because. Well, this can't download. I don't know. Like usual, of course, Internet Explorer fails to download just because it's terrible. Let's just try Chrome out. I don't know. Cool Chrome was taking forever to open, so I'm just gonna get rid of this link. I, I was gonna write I don't know, but it's just a waste of space, so get out of here. Okay, let's run this one. Hopefully it doesn't already the system, but hopefully it's gonna get blocked anyway. And it is. Is it detected as RD? Oh no, just like any generic piece of shit. It's just any malware. No one's too no one's cool enough to make any custom malware like all in the good old days, like we had CIH and we had all those good good old malware. Okay, this one has been blocked. Now, I do like the alert box if it was a bit smaller. Uh, it is, I do like the alert box though anyway, so not a huge deal. Let's run this one. Let's, uh, wow, so... The detection of this file is 0 to 56, but it's saying the file is blocked. And Universal AV is still scanning. That is very surprising. I'm going to click on continue blocking. But that's really weird, though, how they blocked it when it was 0 to 56. But I guess it was blocked anyway. Okay, let's run this one. Hopefully it's not 360 and I'm not downloading that. Get out of here. I don't really care. Let's run this one. It's blocked. Let's continue blocking that. Okay, 
Okay, um, this one has been blocked, but it wasn't on virus total, which is surprising. But it says untrusted, so just block it because why not? I'll send it a virus total anyway. Can it get a clean sheet? Come on, you can do it. And it can. Check it as injector. You can tell malware is not legitimate when it has like lowercase letters because it's not professional. But nonetheless, it actually did get a clean sheet. It blocked all this crap from infecting the system. But again, can I recommend it? Kind of, kind of not. If you're an advanced user, maybe. Um, but you can also look into something like Voodoo Shield. I would probably go with this, though, because actually, Secure A Plus does give you a scan option, so I'd probably go with this. But anyway, um, I can't really recommend it as of yet. It did do good, don't get me wrong, it did awesome. But, unfortunately, I can't really recommend it. The reason being, I didn't get any samples, and that's kind of an unfair test. But, if you want to use it, feel free to, it didn't do bad. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, have a good day. Um, hopefully, hope, hope you enjoyed today's test, and goodbye.